It is the jet that dazzles the airshow crowd. It is the jet famous for its ability to hover. The Harrier has a reputation for being a dangerous airplane to fly because it's difficult to fly. It's like balancing 20 tons on the point of a needle. Particularly the early Harriers in the Marines, the AV-8A, was a difficult airplane to fly. And when they put new pilots in it, what they called nuggets, the loss rate was high. The early Harrier, designed and built in Britain, is indeed a difficult plane to fly, especially in a hover. But that ability to hover is the reason both the British and the US Marines were interested in the plane. Because of the vertical capability, the plane has greater access than conventional jets and is able to operate in confined areas. The Marine Corps bought the Harrier from the British in the early 1970s, and the first squadrons were formed. Because the jet has a reputation of being tough to fly, many of their best pilots rotate into the newly designated AV-8A. We handpicked the first people that went into it. The thought was, well, let's try it, let's test it, let's get three squadrons worth and that will give us enough to check out the operational characteristics. Because if we could make this work, it did exactly what we wanted. At the end of three years and no accidents, the system came back and said, you guys must have been wrong. It can't be hard to fly. Look, this is wonderful. And so instead of gradually introducing different people to it, they just opened up the floodgates. And within the next six weeks, we had uh, crashed three airplanes and killed two people. has a reputation. I know my wife was very concerned when I first got into the Harry community. Uh, it was known as the widow maker, and, uh, and it has killed a lot of people. It's an airplane like any other that uh, it doesn't tolerate mistakes. And they found, really, they needed a pilot with a lot of jet time, a lot of high performance, high speed time, so his brain was up and moving all the time. And they finally made an, uh, an issue out of it, not assigning nuggets to Harrier squadrons, and the loss rate went down. Despite their harrowing experience, even downed Harrier pilots swear by their plane. Loyalists say the plane is unique, ahead of its time, and plagued by an undeserved reputation. To others, it's a widow maker, a difficult, even dangerous airplane to fly. Don't tell that to the Marines. Ground commanders of the Marine Corps during the Gulf War praised the Harrier. Throughout the war, Harrier pilots flew the close air support mission. They were there to support the grunts. They are, after all, Marines. <laughs>